As for the popular antibody treatments, the Omicron variant now is challenging their effectiveness. The doctors have used drugs from Regeneron and Eli Lilly to fight COVID for more than a year. But as our Lauren Kosick reports tonight, hospitals might have to rethink their current treatment plans. Doctors and hospitals are facing another threat from the Omicron variant. Research shows some of the monoclonal antibody treatments used to keep COVID patients from developing severe symptoms are less effective, including a popular treatment from Eli Lilly. Hospitals across Indiana are already stretched thin, short staffed and tired from the Delta surge and are now facing another battle. On Monday, the Omicron variant officially became the dominant strain in the U.S., making up about 73% of new cases, according to the CDC. And we need to tailor our treatment algorithms appropriately, so knowing which variant is present uh, may impact treatment. That's because some of the COVID treatments used to keep high-risk patients from getting seriously ill are shown to be less effective against the new strain, and the one that does work is in short supply. Now, this is very early in the studies, uh, and there's more research going in, but the early data suggests they're not as effective as they were maybe against Delta or other variants of this, of this virus. Thomas Zizinski said this isn't surprising because the variant is different than the virus that antibodies were trained to fight. You know, we don't want to change vaccines. We don't want to change these monoclonal antibodies if we don't have to. So if there's some level of efficacy that is still there, uh, then there's really not a need to change. And this could also put another burden on hospitals, having one less tool in the toolbox. That's why Zizinski says it's important for Hoosiers to avoid infection by staying protected. Because every time somebody gets infected, we have this opportunity for a new variant or mutation to occur in the population. Eli Lilly said they are developing another treatment that would work against all strains of the virus, including Omicron. But right now it's not approved. They hope to give another update in a few weeks.